Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you've been doing good. Today we are going to be playing some makeup, specifically new makeup that I've purchased recently from Sephora and Ulta. Most of these products I guess are considered high-end, but most of them are new to me and some of them are also new launches. I've been super duper excited about trying out these products. If you are not subscribed, you need to stop and subscribe right now. 80% of you guys that watch my videos are not subscribed and that right there is a problem. You know you want to keep watching my videos so you might as well subscribe. Make sure you tap the notification bell so you're notified every single time I upload as well. That way you could be one of the first viewers. So if you are interested in seeing the look that we create and my opinions on these products and whether I like them or I don't, then just go ahead and keep watching. So as you can see, I already have my brows on as usual. I do the same thing all the time. So there is no need to explain. Um, I have a bunch of new makeup. We got a new foundation, new cream bronzer. We have a new um, eyeshadow palette, concealer. We got a lot of makeup, some full, pretty much a full face. Um, I'm going to prime first. So the primer I'm gonna use is the Rare Beauty Pore Diffusing Primer. So I'm just going to go ahead and take that and just prime the face. The first product we're gonna take is the new Anastasia Cream Bronzer. I got mine in the shade Hazelnut. Looks like this. Such a pretty, pretty, pretty packaging. You get a lot in here. Um, you get one fluid ounces, and this is the shade that I got. So I'm gonna do the technique I've been doing a lot lately, which is my new way of doing makeup, kind of, basically. I'm not gonna go too heavy-handed with it, because I'm not sure. Oh, okay. All right. So this color is a, a good color for me. It does remind me of the e.l.f. bronzer, but this one I feel like has more pigment a little bit. It's not as dewy as the um, putty bronzer from e.l.f. It's a little bit more, I wouldn't say matte, I'll say more like of a skin like, like a, a natural matte finish, I guess. I like to make sure I take this back to the hairline because you don't want to be clocked, you know? So, so far, I like it. It is really nice, it blends really well, easy to put on. Um, compared to the e.l.f. one, I feel like this is a bit more pigmented than the e.l.f. one and less dewy than the e.l.f. one. So, But so far, so good and I love the packaging, so I like that. And then next we are going to conceal. I'm going to use the new Tante Edo Ultra Wear All Over Concealers. I got two of them. Um, you guys saw in my, was it my weekly vlog? I got, um, I did a haul, I got shade 490, which I have used once and I actually did really like. Um, but it was kind of super close to my skin tone, so I did want a brightening shade. So I went back and I purchased 460. So this is this is 495, and then this is 460. So they're both really nice colors for me. This is just a little bit, you know, more brighter, um, lighter. This is more close to my skin tone, but it's good to have both. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use those to conceal. I like to go in with the concealer that's almost my skin tone, but a tad bit just lighter, and then I'll go in with a brighter concealer to brighten up just the areas that I want to. And then I'm gonna take my DSMD sponge and just blend that out. This concealer is so lightweight, but the coverage is so nice. Like, it literally does not feel like you have anything on your face. And it doesn't dry down too fast. Like, it looks like it's matte, but you can still blend it out really, really easily, and I like that. So I'm gonna take the 460, and then we are going to brighten it up a bit. Just gonna blend that out. And now we are going to put foundation in the spots where we need to. I'm going to try out the Synchro Skin Radiant Lifting um, Foundation. This is not new, but it's new to me. I have the matte one, which is one of my favorite foundations till this day. I got the shade 510 Suede. It looks like this. Super duper pretty bottle. So the Radiant one is has like a silk, like a, a shiny finish to the bottle. And then this is how the matte one looks like. So this is how the self-refreshing um, 
where foundation looks like. So this one is matte in a matte bottle. And then the radiant one is in a shiny bottle. Same shade, just different, I guess, consistencies. I'm not going to put too much because I don't know how it, you know, I'm not sure how the coverage is. I'm going to take my It Cosmetics Love foundation brush. This is a really good foundation brush. So I'm just going to take that and go ahead and blend this out. It's definitely <laughs> radiant for sure. My worry is how is it going to wear? Because the other one wears absolutely amazing, which is why it's one of my favorites. Um, so I'm really going to put this to the test today and see how long it lasts as well as how it wears. I'm all about foundations that wear well because I have combination oily skin. I don't have oily skin, it's combination oily. I get oily in my T-zone. I'm just going back in with some cream bronzer just to bring the definition back. But I get oily in my T-zone, so that's what I really look for, how makeup wears, if it breaks apart or if it lasts well, things like that. For your bronze, I'm going to take some setting spray and just spray my face while it's still wet. I'm gonna use the Milani Make It Last setting spray. I always do this step before I put any powders on my face. This is going to help your makeup wear and last longer. Oh boy, I look radiant. Like radiant, that's how I feel and that's how I look. Okay, so I'm going to take some bronzer, which one do I wanna do? I think I'm going to do my NARS bronzer. So you guys have seen this before. Really good bronzer. So I'm just going to tap that off. I like to do my bronzer first before I bake or set my face. I don't know why, I've just always done it that way. And with this, have doing, doing the cream bronzer and setting it with the matte, with the um, powder bronzer, it's like secure. You're guaranteed to have it last and wear all day. And then for powder, I'm just going to use my Wet n Wild powder because I love this stuff. Such a great powder, man. Just beautiful. And you can set your brows too. That's just going to make sure that they last longer. And then now I'm just gonna wipe everything away. For blush, we're gonna use the uh, Coco Felicita blush by Milani. This is like a mauve kind of like purple-ish kind of blush. So we're just going to take that because we're doing a more fall eye. I just want the blush to be more monochromatic with the eye, if that makes any sense. And then I'm gonna spray the face again just to bring some life back to my face because I powdered a lot. So blush is on. Now for highlighter, we're gonna be trying out the new Makeup by Mario highlighter. I got the darkest shade, it's in the shade Bronze. So this is how his packaging looks like. I've never tried Makeup by Mario's products. I heard they're amazing. Um, this is the shade Bronze. I was like, oh my God, this is beautiful. It is more on the copper side, I will say. And a tip for when you're applying highlighter, don't apply it to a dry face. Spray your face first, that way it's tacky. So when you apply the highlighter, it just like has something to kind of stick to, if that makes any sense. Now we are going to do the eyes. I got a new eyeshadow palette. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Natural Nudes. This is not new out, it's new to me. It's been out for a really long time. This is how it looks like. It's just a nude palette that has like all shades of nudes. It has shimmers and mattes. I think the camera kind of washes it out. It's better in person if that makes sense. But I'm gonna use this um, eyeshadow palette, most likely more shades toward the, towards the deeper side um, and create a fall eye because that's what I'm in the mood for. Oh, and you can fold it all the way back. Oh, I love that. I'm going to take the shade Maple. It looks like this, it's this color right here. And just put that in my crease. It's actually going on darker than what I expected. I'm going to take a Morphe E22 brush. I hate that this shirt keeps showing my bra. It's one of those bigger shirts. Okay, and then I'm going to take the shade Truffle. This is the last shade at the end. It's pretty deep, it's like a deep chocolate brown. 
Ooh, she is dark. Yeah, these colors are definitely going on a lot darker than what they look like on the pan. Oh yeah, she is nice and dark. Like, dark, y'all. I'm just going back with my other brush and kind of buffing out the edges. For the glitter on the lid, I think I'm gonna do this color called Sparkling Rum. It looks like this, like a really pretty plumish purple kind of color. Ooh, it's pretty. And I'm just putting that on with my with my finger. And then I'm just going to smoke this shadow out in the bottom. I'm gonna take truffle, which is the lash shade at the end, and smoke out my lower lash line. And I'm using the Morphe E18 brush. Okay, and then for the inner corner of the eye, I'm going to take the shade Sparkling Sand, which is this shade right here. Ooh, these shimmers are nice. Like they are next level, so good. Now we are going to do some eyeliner. I'm going to take this black eyeliner. It's called Beauty For Real. I think that's the name of the brand. I got this in my Ipsy Glam. It looks nice and I'm just gonna put that in my waterline. I'm gonna do mascara. I'm going to use my Lancome mascara. I got a new one because I haven't gotten, I had the little mini travel size for the longest, um, so I got a new one. I'm gonna use that and then pop some lashes on and then we'll be back, do our lip, and then the look will pretty much be done. I changed my mind, y'all. I don't feel like doing lashes. <laughs> yeah, so yes. Welcome to my channel. I changed my mind a lot. But yeah, I was like, I don't really feel like wearing lashes. Like, I like it. I think it's pretty without lashes. And lashes aren't always necessary. So for the lip, we're going to take the Fenty Liquid Lip in the shade Unveil. This is like a deep brown. I've never used her liquid lips before. I heard they're great. So this is new to me. Okay, it's definitely a brown. It's really pretty. It feels very, it's matte, but it's very comfortable. Like very, very, very comfortable. Ooh, this is a pretty color. Wow, I like this. And it goes with the eyes so well. I do want a gloss though. I feel like this look would look really nice with a gloss. It looks really nice right now when it's matte, but I feel like a gloss would really just do it. I'm going to use my Uncensored Lip Gloss by Artist Couture. This is more of like a pale nude. Right in the middle. Ooh, yes. Yes. That was it right there, that's what I needed. All right, you guys, we are finished. This is the finished look that we created. I love it, it's pretty, it's like fall appropriate. The lashes would have made it va va boom, but I really wasn't in the mood for lashes, but obviously, you know, you could add lashes if you want to. But I really like this. Everything that I tried out, I really did enjoy. The eyeshadow palette, amazing. The mattes, the shimmers, they're beautiful, great. Um, the foundation, I like the way it went on. I was a little shiny at the end, so I did powder a little bit in my T-zone. So I'll keep you guys up to date on how this wears. I hope it wears well. Um, if it doesn't, I might return it, um, but it was a little too dewy for me at the end. But all I did was just take my, um, my Charlotte Tilbury powder and I just like powdered right in my T-zone and I was nice and matte like I am now. So, but the way it applied, the coverage, really nice. I like the way it looks on my skin. We'll see how that wears. Um, Fenty Lip, pretty. Love it, gorgeous, beautiful, great formula. Um, Makeup by Mario Highlighter is gorgeous. Uh, the concealers, you guys know I love. The bronzer, I like it. It's nice. Is it comparable to the e.l.f.? I need to keep using it a little bit more to see if I really like which one I like better. Honestly, they're kind of similar to me, but I will say the Anastasia one is a bit more matte and I feel like it's a little bit more pigmented than the um, e.l.f. Putty Primer. So that is a difference that I, that I noticed when I was applying it. But so far, everything turned out really, really well. I love this face. It looks gorgeous. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed 
the way the look came out try it for yourself you know i'm trying to get into the fall vibes hopefully this foundation wears well that's really all i'm like asking for i hope it wears well if it doesn't that's fine it's just not works for me so that's perfectly fine but like i said thank you guys again for watching this video make sure you're subscribed if you are not subscribed already and tap the notification bell to be notified every single time i upload and i will see you guys on the next one bye